uh, finally, exercise two, start working by accepting the GitHub Classroom assignment uh, in there. Mm, you can work in pairs mentioned already. And as said, there are some hints for, for converting pandas data frames into geo data frames. Uh, then there's some hints. This is the same hint as last time. So if, for example, you want to learn the lambda function, so this week is an excellent opportunity to do so. And I could reserve time next lesson to ex explain it a bit more in detail. Maybe I will go to this public version of the exercise. Let's hope that the pages render. Uh, we have three problems. In the first one, we start with Shapely and then we end up, uh, I think we end up with a geodata frame. In the second one, we have some file, uh, so CSV file, which we then read in to GeoPandas and plot it. And then in the last one, you will need this grouping, grouping skills and either either iter rows or then these uh, applying functions to calculate, create some lines and calculate some distances between points. So that's it in a nutshell. Mm. In more detail in problem one, uh, we have some input lists. In here, you have longitudes and latitudes. You can see that the data is somewhere around Finland. And the point is that uh, the first object in here pairs up with the first object in here, and so on. So you need to play around with index values uh, in order to create a polygon based on these coordinate pairs, and then to plot it uh, on a map and I think you need to save the data on the on the disk and you can again start by working uh, start working by removing these errors uh, in problem two we have uh, an input file so this is actually it kind of represents movements of people or social media posts to be more spe specific pay attention that it the data is located uh, in south africa so on the other side of the globe so we have this minus minus latitudes uh, and then your task is to read in the csv file uh, turn it into uh, a geodata frame basically and then plot plot the data mm. And then finally, in problem three, we continue working with the same file. Uh, and then for each user, so there's multiple lines of data for each uh, user, so to speak, represented in the data. So you should then create lines that connect the points and calculate uh, the length of that line for each user and then sum it up together. Um, so that's it for the exercise. Mm. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer. I'm sure many people have already left the Zoom as it's getting a bit late. Um, if not, good luck with finishing the exercises. Uh, maybe see some of you on Friday in the practical session. And next week, we will continue working with GeoPandas. We will do some geocoding. So uh, put addresses, link addresses to coordinates, and then learn to do spatial queries uh, for a spatial data. So query, for example, data that in intersects each other and so on. OK, so I'll be here for a while if you have some questions. Otherwise, thanks for thanks for your patience and see you latest.
during the next lesson.